What's up guys, it's Fish here and welcome back to this absolutely epic siege survival battle. So what I wanted to do was try and create a Kingdom of Heaven-esque siege battle against the AI where I give them a ton of men and try and defend. So I have around about 3,000 men and the AI has around about 9,000 men. So it should be, you know, they should be able to overwhelm me. I'm even rooting for the AI. Uh, I want to be pushed back to the city center and even get defeated and overwhelmed. I think that'll just make it for a much cooler battle than, say, me just wrecking the AI at the walls. I really, really do hope they push through these walls. So you might even see me having to fall back at some point just to, you know, consolidate my strength and try and fight in the in the streets and stuff like that. So it should be really, really fun. I also uh, I never noticed that the AI actually in a siege battle forms up because I gave them three armies and they actually just, like form up as one big army, which was really, really cool to see. I also gave them some catapults so we should see the city burning very, very soon. So let's run through the uh, the army comps of my army, just because this is a newer faction and some of you guys might not have seen all of these units, and then we'll jump straight into it. If you do want to skip this, then you can click the skip annotation on your screen, and it should bring you just straight to the start of the battle, and it's going to be gruesome for sure. These Knights Templar are going to have to hold their ground and hold this city in the name of God for sure. So let's start off with my cavalry. I have some Hospitaller mounted knights. I love the way that their shields, some are like some are kite shields, some are oval shields. I really like that diversity. I also love this cape as well on this dude. I think the sergeants in this game just look really, really cool, like on every unit. Like, look at this, like that's my, uh, that's one of the like main dudes. And then look at this guy, like the actual flag bearer with this awesome bit of artwork on the on the armor. Like that looks amazing. Look at that. That's so cool. That's really cool. But I've got my Knights Templar heavy knights as well. I've got two units of the Hospitaller Knights and two units of the Knight Templar. And you can see they're kind of in a cool formation as well, which uh, which is pretty awesome. And then you've got the main guy there. Then you've got my King of Jerusalem. He is uh, right here, holding the flag, ready to die, defending this city. But hopefully it won't come to that. Hopefully we can hold back the invaders. Then we've got the Dismounted Hospitaller Knights. These guys are a sword and shield type variant of that unit. Pretty heavy infantry pretty good then this is a unit i actually forgot to bring against apollo and i'm so sad but i didn't bring this unit because look how amazing these guys are with their two-handed like pole arm-esque weapons these are the dismounted hospitella i can't remember what their full title is uh dismounted just nice okay cool and yeah they just look amazing i can't believe i didn't bring these guys in my previous battle against apollo uh because they're like the best looking unit in the game for me so far they, they just look crazy cool i can't wait to throw these dudes into combat and see what they can do against the Ayubid Sultanate. Then I've got some more dismounted Hospitaller Knights. I also have some crossbowmen ready to volley in the streets when the enemy get here. Hope, hope, or if the enemy get here, I'm hoping the enemy get there. Then some more knights getting ready to defend it, uh, defend the streets. I've got a barricade up here, which I've formed. Some more Hospitaller Knights there. Then I have some Crusading Knights. These guys are a bit lightly armored, so when they get to this stage, I'm sure the enemy will be tired, so these guys won't do as bad as you would think they would. I'm rooting for these dudes to hold their line. Then I've got I think another unit here and another unit here blocking off here. Then I have given uh, some more of these dismounted Hospitaller Knights with two-handed weapons at, at the walls. But if the walls look like they're lost, I will probably just bring these guys back and save them for the city center. Then the Knights Templar have been issued an order to hold these walls at all costs. To not, not retreat, not surrender, to give their lives to hold these walls. So that's what the Knights Templar are going to be issued with, and I'm hoping that they'll do their best to hold the line. I think I've got six units of these guys down there. And then finally, I have some archers up here as well, just some crusading marksmen scattering the walls. So I think that's everything. Let's uh, let's start the battle as we, as we volley at the enemy. Also, I should mention as well, it is absolutely boiling in my room at the moment because it's like 24 degrees outside which is like 70 something fahrenheit for you americans uh which doesn't sound like a lot you know like i'm sure you guys are this is probably like a normal weather for most of you guys out there in like india and like obviously it's much hotter there and like in america and stuff oh my god hold jesus there these walls are going down so hopefully we'll get some proper kingdom of heaven-esque like battles as we're fighting over the walls but yeah, as I was saying, like, it's boiling hot in the UK, and I've got my window closed. Jesus. Jesus, I was not expecting that to be destroyed that quickly. Um, yeah, I've got my window closed, I've got my fan off, my computer's obviously blaring out heat, so it is boiling right now in my room. So, uh, you know, I'm suffering the heat as well as these Crusaders. Luckily, I am not in the, the desert heat, and I am also not in full plate armor. 
and you know not getting ready to fight for my life. But you know, I'm you know, I'm trying to kind of get myself in the in there in what they're feeling. Can't believe how quickly these walls have gone down already. Look at that. And it killed an entire unit of Knights Templar. They got crushed by it. Oh my god, how? That is that is a bit dumb. Like they are not close enough like that. But I'm gonna bring the rest of my men back just in case that happens elsewhere. And entire units of Knights, Knights Templar were crushed. Get back, boys. I do not want you guys dying. Damn, that's gonna really hurt me out because I do not have a men to do that, like to deal with in the first place. They've already killed like a hundred of my, my elite infantry. Look at the horde as well. Look how many men they have. This is... I'm not i am not looking hopeful for this battle. As the catapults go in. Hopefully the catapults are going to run out of ammunition. Yeah, the catapults are running out of ammunition very, very soon. I still can't believe how much damage like that did. Some more of my men getting smashed away. You are Templars. Hold the line. Archers, volley as best you can. I'm going to have to stick a lot of these Templars actually up on the walls as well. So let's bring these dismounted dudes around. You guys go here. Get ready to counter charge them there. You guys, uh, hold on, are they out of ammunition yet? Like one more shot, one, two more shots. Is everything okay here? Yeah, so we're going to have to throw some men up here. As best we can. So yeah, you guys get up here, ready to defend the walls. Yeah, they're going up here nice. So you get ready to defend them walls. You get ready to defend these walls. We'll move the archers over a bit. Actually, let's bring the archers back so they can actually volley off on the walls. That'd be kind of cool. And then you guys go there. Nice. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Got soldiers over here. Also got this unit as well, which I guess I will hold. I'll stick these guys like over here. So you, my new men, get up there. Damn. I feel like I'm gonna lose this wall like really, really quickly. Just because of the amount of men, and especially losing the entire unit, as well as more catapults coming in. Losing the entire unit was just brutal. It really, really was. Nice Templar getting ready to... Hopefully these siege towers don't glitch out. I think that siege tower has glitched out. But the other ones which come down, like the ones which should place here, should be absolutely fine. Oh my god, we are not going to be in a good situation here. Let's form up here. I want to get back to back with these, these nice Templar. Oh no, they are, they are actually jumping off and fighting me. Cool. Good, 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 good. And over here as well. They've got a lot of missiles as well. I gave them so many Gulan archers as well. Oh my god, they're just running amok over here. Stop them. They're just going to try and take the gate or something. So they're holding back whilst their siege towers go to work. Throwing off their Judai swordsmen. I gave them so many of their like elite men as well. I gave them as many, like the best men they could possibly have. I also gave them a bunch of spears as well to, like, to deal, deal with my forces. Come on, boys, get in there, get stuck in. If we can, like, we're gonna get outflanked so quickly, which is gonna be painful, painful indeed. Reform the line, guys. I need you dudes to like get ready to counter charge, so it can be like a proper Kingdom of Heaven charge. I really need to watch that film again. Such an awesome battle scene in it. Yeah, they have so many numbers. Oh, look how cool this is as well. These dudes have been like surrounded right here. That's amazing. Look how cool that is. They've been like fully surrounded and they're fighting back to back. And then they're getting decapitated. Look at them getting chopped down. Oh my god, they are just not faring well. I thought this infantry would do... Oh my god, they have so many heads are getting sliced off right now. I thought that my Knights Templar would be, be like more than a match for these guys. But these dudes are a good melee infantry. Maybe I bit off a bit too much when I can shoot. The gates are down now as well. I assume they'll be charging in very soon. With my spearman in shield wall. But I'm tempted to stick these guys in square, if I'm honest. I'm actually going to stick them in square. Because I think that we're going to get outflanked here so quickly. So I need these guys in, sw in square so they don't get, like, enveloped or anything. And yeah, here we go. The lag is about to intensify. So do remember, it, it was going to get a bit laggy. We have 10,000, 11,000 men fighting in this engagement so it's gonna be brutal for sure yeah oh my god my knights templar over here have been enveloped now their soldiers are getting ready to charge in we are gonna counter charge them at the wall which might not be the best strategic move but i think it'll look cool anyway the archer fire coming in oh this tower has been totally destroyed that is not good the men are still fighting hard though 
I'm just waiting to see what's actually coming here because they're still like reorganizing their entire infantry line right now. So I'm seeing what they're doing. That was so cool, by the way, where the men were like surrounded. They got cut down by so quickly. What's coming? Okay, let's charge them, boys. And I guess them. So yeah, let's just charge. Let's form up here and charge in. These Hospitaller Knights as well are going to have to go in very soon. That's not a good formation. That is not a good formation whatsoever. Let's just fill up there and then we'll send the Hospitaller Knights in this left, in this little left bit. Seems like a good plan. If these guys can actually form shield, well, I doubt they can. Yeah, they can't. Charge in there, charge in there. And let's insert and watch their charge. As the battle is just getting fully on the way. They're pouring in so many men. As we said, they had you know, a three to one advantage in this. So my men are gonna have to be killing a lot more than there when we're losing for sure for us to win this. But I'm proud of my Knights Templar for holding and giving their lives to defend this. You know, not many of them are routing. A few of the archers are routing and stuff, but that's about it. The infantry are dying. Their morale is, is super high. Over on the walls though, yeah, oh my god. We are getting cut down and overwhelmed right now. Keep on fighting indeed, good sir. Just hold them back as best as you possibly can. Tire them out, slow them up. Just look how many more men. Look at, oh my god, look at that. Look at the sheer density of their formation here. That is absolutely insane. That is beyond insane. Look at them. Look at the amount of men right there. More of a wall. I think the gates have just gone down as well. Damn. As they're trying their hardest to push through, the men on the, the, men on the wall as well are going hard. They're going to be able to just, you know, completely over, overwhelm this. At the gate as well, they're pushing in. Maybe having these dudes in shield wall would have been a bit better of an idea. Because by the looks of it, they haven't been outflanked yet. But I imagine these troops are going to be running down and outflanking me very, very soon. As more of them are just pouring off. Oh, by the looks of it, they're actually going to be running around here. Maybe they can't get down because they lost the towers. I guess that would make sense. But let's go back to this main fight. Sorry, I haven't really been watching this battle too much. And I think this is the most intense battle for sure. So let's just press N, zoom out, and just watch this unfold for like a, like a minute or something. I don't know. Let's just leave it on here because it looks... <laughs> I love creating these epic battles, and hopefully you guys enjoy watching these epic battles. It is so much fun to create this. You know, the lag's a bit annoying sometimes, but I mean, I don't think it's affecting it too much whatsoever. Considering how many men we have fighting, how many brave soldiers are just going at it right now, fighting to defend this city, the glorious city we have. Uh, some of these soldiers have actually like glitched out as well. Maybe they've routed. And because they've destroyed this wall, yeah, I feel like because they've destroyed this wall and there's no other way out, the Attila AI doesn't know what to do, which is a really dumb map like choice, like a map creation on create or Creative Assembly's part. But oh well, they've only lost a couple hundred men. It shouldn't really affect them too much. I lost plenty of men there as well. So let's watch these dismounted Hospitaller Knights as well. I want to see some decapitations right now. I need these guys to be going ham and just cutting through the enemy. That dude right there was just swinging, like just going at it. Oh, this is so cool. That dude getting his head chopped off, all the heads just ru rumbling down. Damn, when this line finally breaks and they pour in with more men. I have some more infantry, don't I? I have some archers. Yeah, let's use these archers just to shoot these men. As you can probably use them to like form up here and shoot there. That'd be a good idea. See, they are actually pouring a lot of men, so I'm going to have to commit some men to defend the, defend the gates over here for sure. Get back here. Damn, that's not looking good for me as, as well. As soon as they break through this as well, this shield wall, things are not going to look pretty. Yeah, they are just pouring in right now. Look at all this infantry as well, running down the walls. And it's still constantly coming in as well. They're getting around this Knight Templar unit. Do I have anything else I can send? Is it worth me sending this unit? Do I just fall this unit back? I think I do. I'm going to fall this unit back. And they're going to fight with their backs to this barricade. So there is no retreat with them. Let's fall them back because I think the walls are lost right now. These troops are going to try their best just to take down as many as they can. But I don't think it's going to go well for me. If we look at the balance of power, 
You can see I have almost lost a thousand men and they have lost just a thousand men as well. So this is not good for us. We need to be killing way more than that. And look at all the troops they have in reserve. I also gave them like beyond the dumb amount of Gulan for archers as well. So we might, you know, survive getting shot to death as well. Or might like end up getting shot to death. The city gate is lost now. They are going to be pouring through with as many men as possible. And that does not bode well for our, our dismounted Hospitella Knights. Do I retreat these Hospitella Knights? They are so good. They could 75 and lost like none. I think I do. I think I try and get these guys out of there. I need the Templars to, to hold off. Templars, you are brave. Hold the goddamn line. Okay. I feel sorry for like Lee abandoning them, but these... These uh, dismounted knights have uh, taken so many down with them and lost like none. Oh my god, they're not even going to be able to. They're already on the barricade as well. I think we're just going to get overwhelmed as we try and run back and kind of get surrounded. Can these guys form square? Because we might have to. No, they can't. They can form wedge, but that's it. I mean, they lost like 20 men and they've killed 70. So these dudes are elite. We need to be using them as best as possible. Oh god, we got hit by the back as well. I did not think they would come down there. Damn. I am not commanding these troops well whatsoever. These guys are there. Yeah, they're actually, are they actually coming down the closest one. I thought they'd come down the gate. So let's meet them in these streets. Turn around, boys, and get ready to charge. We can watch this charge as well. Let's go in, boys. Oh, let's look at this like the calm before the storm. Everyone's like holding their ground. Like, hold, and then they're charging. Nice. That was so cool. Because of the lag, it's kind of like they looked at each other. Now we've got some slow-mo charge. I think they're in wedge formation as well. Awesome. Oh, that's so awesome. I love this crusading faction so much. And look at this. We've formed up with our dismantled hospitality knights there. There's no retreat from them whatsoever. That's so cool. Uh, did we get caught? No, we didn't get caught. Why are you guys not carrying on running? You could have escaped. Uh, but it looks a bit... Oh, my God. Let's pause it for a second. Let's pause it for a second. We finally routed here, but look at them. They are surrounded. The, the lighting is going really weird right now. Let's just, uh, let's play and just watch these guys. They're surrounded. They're fighting to the death. And the enemy are just pouring in. My God, this, the walls have been lost. Look at that. Look at the sheer numbers. That is crazy. My archers are going to act as like a secondary fort, like a secondary rear guard as more of my Hospitaller Knights are falling back. You guys just need to get out of there as best as possible. Fall back. We got some more soldiers right here holding the line, going at it. They're gonna get outflanked so soon. So maybe I do deploy this unit of Hospitaller Knights to kind of act as, why do they keep on stopping? They need to like constantly be retreating. So let's form them up here and just see what they're doing but look at this this is just imagine if i had some catapults right now how many kills i could rack up with them but yeah the walls have been completely lost now this unit is running back as fast as they can but i don't know if they're gonna make it in time they're, be, they're on the hot pursuit as well and these guys are a lot faster they've got their mamluk uh tabadaria as well chasing them down i just yeah i don't know these guys have been fighting pretty heavily as well they must be tired right now they're getting shot to pieces Maybe they just turn. Because, yeah, all their archers are in there. They're getting shot down to bits. I mean, I'm going to keep on running them. Trying my best to get them back. The fighting in the streets has got on the way now. It is brutal, though. I didn't realize these uh, swordsmen were this good. Because they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with, my, with my Templars and my, my Knight's Brotherhood as well. Entire units are dying. That's not, not what we want to hear. Let's keep on bringing these guys back. Just get... Oh, look at the... Look at the stream of them. And these dudes are just getting picked away by the Gulan foot archers. I'm tempted just to turn them down. Because look at this archer fire right now. These dudes are getting picked down. These brave warriors would have been better suited just in combat. But if I can get these guys behind this shield wall, I think they'll be safe. So there's not much longer for them to run. Just keep running, boys. How cool, yeah, look at them as well. Look at so many of them are just falling. These Gulan foot archers are amazing in combat. And let's just, let's just slow-mo down this, this, uh, this street right now. 
it's just endless it really really is so make sure to drop a like and make sure to drop a comment for this guys if you enjoyed this because this is epic i really want to create more battles like this if you want to see more battles like this let me know my god how awesome is this and even look how many dead men i have as well over here like, I lost a big portion of my men due to that wall collapsing on them. But still, look at the rest of the soldiers just pouring in. The Knights Templar are going to... I mean, the, the, uh, the two-handed... Uh, even all these guys, Hospitaller Knights, yeah, are going to be falling back. There's 53 of them left. I think they're going to go join their, brotherhoods over, their brothers over here and just kind of form up alongside them. The King of Jerusalem as well, who has been sitting in the city, is just like, what has happened? What has happened? The, the walls have been lost. Where is he right now? We'll speed up the camera again a bit as well. He is just... The walls have been lost. Oh no, that wasn't even... Dude, I was looking at a flag bearer. I was like, look at, look at the king of Jerusalem. Obviously, this is the king right here. He's a crown and everything. He is like the walls of lost. Flee, you fools. As Denifor would say. And now it's up to these crusading knights to hold back the Mamluk Tabadaria. I don't think they're going to be faring well. Uh, they're actually doing pretty decently. I'm seeing quite a few of these axemen getting their heads sliced off. But now these dudes are getting surrounded, yeah. The the wave of enemy forces have crushed in and completely routed this. That does mean that I expect these dudes are going to be routing. They're being stretched thin right now. The axemen are just proving too strong for my defending forces. But they are holding. They are holding. They are giving my ten, my men uh, time to, to like reform and get back. I'm excited to see what these guys can do. Pushed up against the wall with no surrender, no retreat. They're starting to get out flanked as well. This is what the AI is doing an amazing job of. And their men are just still pouring in. They've still got men pouring. Look at the walls as well. Oh my god. Look, oh my god. Oh my god. I was like expecting it to be up to like here, like at where the, the gate is. I was like, yeah, they probably have a lot of men still. My God, look at that roaming horde just still coming in. This is this is going to be a slaughter. We're going to get wrecked here. But we will go down fighting strong. How many men have we killed out of interest? Nowhere near enough. Nowhere near enough. We've lost like you know, a good, good thousand and a bit. Almost 2,000 of my soldiers. And we only managed to kill around about 2,000 of theirs. Not even that, so... Jesus. Jesus. I, I should have maybe have got more men or something. But this is epic nonetheless. Like, I love fighting these battles where there's no hope in sight. You know, probably like a Last Alliance type thing from like Lord of the Rings where Aragorn takes his men to the Black Gate. You know, if it wasn't for Frodo, they would have all got slaughtered, you know. So I want there to be like that small glimpse. We have we have to hope that Frodo destroys a ring and all these all these uh all these Ayub Sultanate men run away. That is our only hope right now. So Frodo, we're counting on you. Maybe we can get the the eagles to come as well. Oh my god, they're Gulan archers as well, volleying, slaughtering with my crossbowmen. That is not good. So let's let's get these guys on loose formation. Hopefully they can absorb some some of these arrows. Because they still have so much ammunition left as well. And I need to save up with my ammunition as best as I can. Luckily, I have crossbowmen here myself. But yeah, they're going to be pouring in the city. So let's do this. I think this is the only way. So let's fool these guys back here. Like, we'll leave one unit to defend this street. We have to get them out, out of shield first. So one unit to defend there. Enemy units have rallied and another to unit back here, okay? So yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. Should we just fall back to the city center and just hold this as, as best we can? We have to defend this this breach as well. We do have enough men to do that. So maybe we defend more in the streets a bit for a bit longer. Oh, and here we go. Here we go. They're charging onto my uh, my dudes now. This is going to be some axe on axe, some halberdier on halberdier action. Yeah, show them how real men fight for sure. You guys are going to need just to go ham. Cut them down. I mean, if the other unit was any example, they can do that. Because they lost 20 men and managed to kill around 70. So that's exactly what we need. We actually need them to go... Look, no, yeah, that's exactly what we need. They're killing more than 3 to 1. So, I mean, at this point, they need to kill a lot more than 3 to 1. 
Oh, you've, got, you've got your brothers up on the barricades as well, cheering you on. I guess I'll tell you guys to charge as well. So yeah, this is what we need. We need you guys to form up there. And I guess we'll bring some dudes over here as well. Yeah, let's bring some dudes back here. So form these dudes up here. Are these guys still holding? Oh no, yeah, but damn, they are. They're actually fighting a general. If we can get some kills on their generals and actually route them, then maybe we can claim victory. Because they've got one general over here who is pretty low. Yeah, he's under 68. I did, I did make all their generals, like, amazing as well to make it harder for me to kill them. I gave all their generals, like, three times experience. Like, they're all gold. So all their generals are here. Yeah, all their generals are here. So if we can maybe get some kills here. 76, 103. Yeah, they're definitely doing, doing a lot of damage, but I don't know if it's enough or not. I don't know if it's enough. This is a bloody engagement, Michael. This is so cool. I definitely want to create more battles like this. So if you guys have any ideas for what like other scenarios we can do, please let me know in the comments. And their line is finally broken through the Crusading Knights, and they're going to be pouring in. The Archer Fire is still going in. I think the Archer Fire is going to be the most painful thing. Again, I really have been enjoying, like, zooming out and watching the engagement as well. I think that's been really, really awesome. Like, like recently, like, instead of just zooming in and watching, like, the hand-to-hand -hand combat and stuff, like, I've really been enjoying just, like, watching the battle from afar for, like, a little bit. And just watching all these units just move into position and stuff. It is super cool. Super, super cool. Okay, guys, sorry about that little fade-in and fade-out. Someone was hoovering in the house and I didn't want to ruin this recording, so I went and told them to stop. I was like, in the name of God, hold the hoovering. These men are fighting and dying and do not want to be interrupted. The lines are starting to be broken up as well. You can see the Jid Swordsmen are really getting in deep in the formation now. And they're starting to pour through these side streets as well. I wonder if they're going to go all the way around as well. I guess we'll have to keep an eye out on for that. Are you guys in for? Are you guys in shield wall? You are not, so definitely get in shield wall ASAP. And I'm gonna even just support them here. I think I'm gonna have to support them there with an extra unit. How are we doing over here? We're down. We've killed 200 men with these dismounted hospital and knights, so that's good. And you know, almost 150 there, but they got killed a lot by archers. So let's watch their last stand. There is no retreat for them whatsoever. God, you, might, you guys must be sad. I'm, it'd be so cool if these guys like jumped over the barricades watching their brothers die. They're just like, no, we cannot wait. And they all just jumped over. How amazing would that be? Maybe in like 20 years time, Total War will be able to do that. <laughs> Who knows? That'd be so cool. They're still taking down so many of these Ayubid Sultanate soldiers. We're going to have to rely on our crossbowmen as well to really, really do the damage and if we watch from the troops up here as well damn, this just looks like a massacre look how many dead are there as well this is a truly epic battle so make sure you share it with your friends as well it really helps out the channel and it shows that you guys enjoy battles like this they're getting pushed back into the woodwork now taking down several of the soldiers though they are not going down without a fight if only I had some archers up here, then I could have really supported them. But I wanted all my archers on the walls and then my crossbowmen in the city centre, so... Yeah, they're slowly getting pushed off. How are we doing? Have we, have we met engagements over here? We have come across some spearmen. These guys should be doing more than enough to deal with them. The spearmen should not be an issue for these Templars or these Knights, Hospitaller Knights. Sorry, the Templars all gave their lives. And luckily, these, these archers are doing a lot of damage, but I think they're also wasting a lot of their ammunition. How, how, many, how much ammunition do they have left? Yeah, they're down to like a, a quarter ammunition. And they haven't really done too much damage to this unit. They're so heavily armoured. Like, luckily, we're not killing these guys. But we still have two more units. And they've heard their brothers have died down there. And they are ready and willing to give their lives. They are angry. They are like Gimli in the minds of Moria. They have heard about their brothers. And they want to, want to have them avenged. The last few of them. There's not oh my God, There's so few of them left now. I love how they're fighting to the death, though. That is awesome. Brave, brave warriors. 
Yeah, they're down to like a single line now. How many kills are they on out of interest? Let's look. This one's on 224, and this one's on 240. Wow. These, this unit is amazing. I've still got two more fresh units of them. If we look at the other troops fighting, who else is fighting right now? My crossbowmen are taking... My crossbowmen are actually shooting now. That's good. Oh, God. Oh, God. I did not see this. Uh, let's reform. Reform and help your brothers. Uh, we also need to make sure that we've, we've got this uh, little gap over here supported as well. Because they're definitely going to come down here. So let's reform. Remember, we have our heavy cavalry as well. I think the Hospitella Dismounted Knights are starting to rout now as well. They did, they did us a proud, proud service. But I don't think they routed. I think they just got killed entirely, if I am honest. Form shield wall, boys. Form shield wall. Why can't you form shield wall? We're not engaged. Why are you engaged? Oh, God, that's not good. I mean, we do have a shield wall up here, though. Men are going over there. You also have one unit left to reserve. Good thing is we have crossbowmen. The crossbowmen will be able to rack up kills against these. We'll stick these guys to heavy shot. Stick these guys to heavy shot. And if we can get some kills on their general, because if we look at their general units, they have three of them, but they're all really low. And by the looks of it, they're pushing to this right-hand side. So if we can get a kill on their general, we can route this army and we can claim victory. That's going to be our only hope. Or if Frodo destroys the ring. Either or. I mean, I'm personally hoping for Frodo to destroy the ring, but I do not know what to expect. Look at the death. Look how many men they killed. Come on, avenge your brothers. The barricades have been done. Avenge your brothers. Kill them. Kill them all. Look how many men the, the dismounted knights killed. There's so many bodies just piled up here. Them dismounted knights did an amazing job. Yeah, they're throwing all their general units over here. So I'm not going to go... I'm not just going to, like, select all my cavalry and go kill their generals and they'll win the battle. That's kind of lame. I'm going to let them pour more men in. And if they happen to lose their generals against this unit, then they do. Uh, I'm actually going to commit another unit over here as well. Like, I'm not just going to, like, just abuse it. Like, I want this to be an epic battle. I want to get these guys committed. So I'm not just going to rinse them, uh, rinse their general units. If they do die in combat, then they die in combat. But I'm going to let them have a fair chance, you know kind of give the AI a bit, of, a bit of an advantage. We go back to these streets, the grassy streets. Plenty of men. We'll go back to cinematic mode as well. Let's look at the balance of power right now. So how many have we killed? We've lost about 1,500 men here. And the AI has lost about 2,000. So we're starting to kind of kill a few more as we get into the city. Look at the devastation over there, disgusting. Are you guys avenging your brothers? You better be. Fight over their bodies, men. Bring them back. Bring them back home. These dudes are getting cut through pretty quickly. I mean, we have to retreat, I think, this unit over here just to reinforce this, because I think they're going to be pushing through very quickly. Are we fighting their general units over here? Yeah, their, their, gaggle of, <laughs> their gaggle of general units are here fighting me. I have men to support them as well. So, you know, if worse comes to worse, like, I will just send more men to commit there. But I really want to get these guys committed into the engagement again. As they're starting to pour more men into the city. Not like they have enough, right? And let's just zoom out and watch this engagement quickly. Just, like, from afar. Just the sheer amount of men in this battle. Why are these dudes not poor? Are they capturing something, maybe? They've got a lot of their elite axemen here. And if they just march through the streets, all you need now is the Star Wars music. That'd be so awesome just to play that there as, as they just walk through this city, which is clearly still under heavy contention. But they're just like, you know what? Whatever. They're going to send some more men to support them. Crossbowmen racking up plenty of kills. Hopefully they're, they're shooting. It's such a shame you can't mount these walls. Like, I don't understand why you can't. It doesn't make much sense. I think we fall back here, if I'm honest. Let's go back on the ramp, or on the ramp, if we can. Like there? Yeah, because this unit has been surrounded. I guess these guys are up against a much stronger force than the other guys. That dude's head getting sliced off. Awesome. We've been fighting for about half an hour now. The men must be tired. This is a truly, truly epic battle. They're even catching some of my soldiers as well, but they're running back to form up. Oh, we killed one of their generals. That's going to be good. Look at their morale. Yeah, a few of their units are not doing too well now. 
and they've broken through over here. The, the Hospitella Knights were not strong enough to fight for their brothers. Just look at the amount of dead bodies here, though. I mean, killing one of their generals is going to be huge. Going to be massive. But now we're going to be completely enveloped here as they push up more men over here. They're going to take, take this capture point and then push on. Yeah, I, I think we're going to be routing the troops that... Uh, we're going to be routing the units that have uh, poor morale and the units that don't really have uh, have done their general anymore. But the other two armies, I did give them three armies and split up these men across these three armies. So because of that, like I'm hoping that you know that every, all, all three armies won't rout just because one general died. So I try to spread it out like that to make it a more interesting battle. But there's still a hope, you know. When there's a will, if we can kill the other two generals which are running into the running into my men, it's up to this one unit. These guys should be called like the the Emperor Killer or something like that, you know. The Sultanate Killers. If this was Warhammer, that's what I would name them. But they're about to be resupplied by a bunch of their men, making it much harder for me to actually kill their generals. I do have my knights as well, and I do have my dismounted soldiers, but yeah. Look at that. They're sending some men over here. I'm going to charge down at them, I think, gloriously. But yeah, these guys have actually cut through them. Look how much distance they've made. They have pushed through. But they're soon to get a rude awakening. Soon to get a very, very rude awakening. But you can just see the envelopment coming around now. Oh, you brave warriors do not know what's about to hit you. Let's charge down at them. We're a bit too far back to really see the engagement. But we have charged down. Blood splattering everywhere. Soldiers jumping up. Oh, it's so amazing. I love this battle. This is such a fun video. I'm so glad I, I, I like thought about doing it. Yeah, they're starting to get cut down by now. But look at the distance they made. That is that is very, very amazing of them. I think they're, they're noticing that. They're like, these are brave soldiers. Maybe we shouldn't fight them from the back. Let them have their own fight and just commit to the main fight. But I doubt that. I, I think they're just forming up. They've got Archer Fire coming in as well. And there you go. Yeah, they're going to be charging in now. Their men are exhausted. There is none in shame in death, that is for sure. You guys have fought valiantly. Look at the dead as well, littering the streets. As they just have waves and waves of men just pouring into the city. It's just disgusting, like, how many men they have. It truly is. These soldiers are up against it now, fighting against the enemy units. How are their general units doing? We've actually routed all of their generals now. Their morale must not be good. Yeah, their morale is not good whatsoever. Let's, let's put on the pressure now. Routing their generals. Has is it must have been huge for us. Let's put on the pressure. Let's let's get some cavalry charges as well. Let's form a, a unit of Hospitella Knights and a unit of uh, a unit of Templars. Because like I might as well try and make it look really cool now. That even because we're probably going to route them more, especially now that they've gone in. So let's uh, let's pause it quickly. Let's give the order to charge, or send you to charge there, and you to charge this like a more left unit over here. Let's get on board with you guys and get these guys as they're charging down the hill to support your hospitality brothers in you go it's up to you guys just to rout these guys i can't believe we routed all their generals as well you know that's kind of it kind of sucks because they were obviously going to win this battle if it wasn't for them throwing away their generals and now it kind of gives me a, a glimpse of hope you know i might be able to do it how the how are these guys doing they've already up to 33 kills and they have not lost a man this unit is beyond amazing it's still going to be difficult, but there's a much greater chance that I can claim victory here by causing a mass rout. Because look at that. If I throw in some cavalry, maybe the king can go in himself, rally the soldiers. And you've got to remember as well that these soldiers are exhausted right now. These, these Ayubid men have been fighting since the beginning of the battle, almost half an hour ago. And this boiling hot heat is going to be really difficult for them to hold on. Come on. Fight. You, have, you guys have heard the news of your brothers who fought valiantly over there. Let us remember the men at the barricade. Barricade. R.I.P. Dicks out for the men at the barricade, guys. These cavalry should be cutting down these soldiers now. They're so tired and exhausted. We also have two units of spearmen as well, which are really good at holding the line if we need anyone to hold the line. This will be the main engagement we are watching now. Did my brothers over here die? They did indeed. They did indeed. They fought valiantly, though. 
Uh, I want to see how many kills these guys are up to now. 65, 118, and they, they've lost 10 men. They are truly, truly amazing. Well, this is this is what I wanted for the video. I wanted them to be uh, I wanted them to be pushed back to the city center and fighting tooth and nail for survival. I mean, I must have like hardly any men left right now. Let's get on board with these guys once more. And just watch the men littering the streets. Luckily, you know, we don't. there's no chance of us being outflanked now, which is good. How are we doing over here? Pretty much routing them, I imagine. We'll throw the knights in some more. Let's go. Let's just commit the entire knights with the king over on this flank. And maybe we can just crush it. They're sending in plenty more men, though. So this is not going to be an easy task. If you guys were like, oh, the generals are dead, the game's over. You know, Jackie's won. This is not going to be a case. Look how many more men they're committing to this engagement. My knights are going to have to fight tooth and nail to get through here see the banners appearing as well that's amazing as they're coming down and king of jerusalem is here to support his men he is not going down without a fight his hospitaller knights and his knights templar are supporting him of course he's in under attack he's fighting bravely and then we'll leave these soldiers up here to defend balance of power now is still shifting you know going a bit we've lost 2,000 men they've lost almost half of their men so you know, we're tiring them out. We're starting to rout a big portion of them. My men are strong. But a few of the men are kind of not knowing what to do. Hopefully these guys will be committed very soon. If I can break them here, maybe the victory can be ours. But many, many a good man have died here today. We'll rally our troops as well just to get them to fight hard. And then we'll watch this engagement some more. This is risky as well because the King of Jerusalem could die here. Well, King of Jerusalem and Cyprus. Sorry if I keep on, like, not pronouncing that correctly. Like, just leaving off the Cyprus part. We go back to this, this engagement over here. I mean, I'm starting to thin out on my numbers. That's, that's very true. Like, the good thing is that the enemy, these troops can, like, the men of the Yuga Sultanate can lose men and just re-support them because they have so many more. But the fact that these guys just don't have enough men to resupply them. Like, I have a few spearmen and stuff which can be sent. That is true. But everyone else, you know, these guys are starting to get enveloped again. They are pushing out, cutting through the enemy lines, causing routing, which is what we need. How many kills are these guys up to now? I'm just so curious. 214 and 100 over here. This is going to be really close. It's whether I run out of men before I, before I break this flank and kind of run round. Or what, what happens here? Like, I need to route this flank and wrap round. I could definitely lose here. This could be my undoing right here. Let's commit our last unit of Hospitaller Knights. You don't want to see your brothers die anymore, so reinforce them. Crossbow's going in as well. He's definitely going to help. There's going to be picking up a few of them. The extra unit, the fresh unit. We have two more spear units as well. These guys will be my last, my last type. I will not commit these guys. They will actually form up there. There we go. And then you guys go over here. You guys will be my last hope. You will form up here and you will, you will hold it to the bitter end if it comes to that. If it comes to that. I'm hoping it won't. I'm hoping our cavalry can claim, claim victory. But they're not doing too great right now. You know, they're getting decent kills. Well, some of them are. The, yeah, they're each doing okay, but not really amazing. Maybe we have to even commit a unit of spearmen. I don't know if I really want to do that or not. Try and prop this rally as well, just to keep the morale high. If it will let me. There we go. No, it won't let me do it. Come on. Let me do it. Let me do it. No, it's not going to let me do it. There we go. I have to do it on my unit, not my unit card. I mean, maybe we're going to route this first. That's a very... We could definitely route this first. And then actually go and support the king. We need this cavalry to be firm, though. We're going to throw up these spearmen to help, like, buff with the front line a bit so the cavalry isn't getting slaughtered. The king is down to a lot. I'm actually going to bring him out. He is low. This archer fire is painful. I'm hoping he's not going to lose a lot of men on the, when he's trying to pull out of this engagement. 
I'm sensing victory here. We might snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. They're even throwing in their Gulan archers. These dudes are racking up so many kills, though, as they are just pushing in. The crossbowmen even coming in now to support. Every soldier matters right now. The king is back here now. My god, this is such a close battle. The balance of power is slowly getting pushed in my favor. But I don't know. I feel like I'm just going to run out of men. I feel like I'm literally just going to run out of men before I can before I can rout them all. This is going to be so close. So close and so epic. Come on, keep on routing them. Keep on pushing them back. It is up to you guys. In the name of God. Look at all the bodies just littering the street. It is so epic seeing this. Beyond insane. These dudes are fighting. This is exactly how close I wanted it to be. This is oh, this has just come out, turned out perfect. I'm so happy with the way it's, it's turned out. And hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Let's go around on the flank. Because now I'm actually going to try my best to try and, like, you know, maybe turn the tide in my battle. Because I want to be able to win this. For sure. Maybe we can get our general around the side and he can charge in. Because this is still super risky. He could die on the charge and I could lose the battle for sure. Because some of the men are still really happy. And they're throwing in their reserve line now as well. Let's charge in and then we're going to get him out of there, I think. Because if he dies, that's not going to be good for morale. Why? What was that charge? Why did you guys not charge? Did you rattle? No, you can't. Why did you guys do that? Come on, charge in. The king was like, not this time. We'll, we'll circle around and charge him. Beautiful. Look at that charge. The king is right in there as well. Damn. Hopefully that'll make the men fight harder because they'll have to get towards the king. I'm going to try and bring him out. He might die here. Yeah, he got slaughtered the there. There you guys shouldn't have brought him out, but he was going to die anyway. That is not good for morale. The king of Jerusalem has given his life for this victory. Or this chance at victory. We are still fighting hard. We need these guys to constantly be shooting in there. Luckily though, my men are sturdy. And they are, oh, look at the death here. As they keep pushing forward, the amount of dead bodies racking up are disgusting. Yes, yeah, some of my men are starting to rout now. Cowards, fight over your king's body. And the fact is that these archers, you might be like, oh, Jackie, you're up against archers. That's not too bad, right? You actually stand a pretty good chance. No, these are Gulam foot archers. They are no, no peasant archer. They, they are just pretty much as good as a heavy infantry unit. Keep charging forward. Stop, stop like celebrating. Keep pushing forward onto this enemy line. Some of the cowards running, fleeing out the city. You will be dishonored. You will be dishonored for the rest of your life. These brave soldiers are not routing. They are fighting on like the true, true soldiers they are. And if they can route all of this, then I will be beyond amazed. 100 kills, 314 kills in this one unit. Amazing. I could support them right now and, and maybe win the battles. Let's do that. I'm just scared that this flank might route. Balance of power now. We're down to 500. They're down to 1,800. And if we route this, I don't know. We also have another unit of crossbowmen left. Let's bring these crossbowmen over here to shoot onto that pile. The men are broken and running for their lives. No, that right flank might be the death of me. I'm trying to throw in some more fresh men just to claim victory. Yeah, they're getting close to routing. Oh my god, this is so close. If we go back to my Knights Templar, they're fighting on. All I need is these guys to hold whilst these guys are killing. I need these guys to kill. Especially now they're around these flanks as well. Just kind of enveloping a bit. Look at that charge as well. They are pushing on. They have not heard that the King of Jerusalem has been dead yet. Or has been killed. Has been dead yet. It's, not, it's hot in my room, okay, guys. Leave me alone. They have not heard that he has died and slain in battle. But if they do, I'm sure they'll fight even harder. Maybe they have heard and they are just fighting on now. As they pour out the city. Look at that stream of routing troops. Yes, are we going to do it? They're trying to outflank me as well, I think, the AI. Oh, no, this is just routing troops. Good push on. Clean these guys up and then fall back. Keep on shooting. Oh, we're routing more men over here. Fight over his body. You have to, you're going to have to fight over his body. Keep on routing them. Keep up the power. 300, almost 400 kills. 200 kills on that unit. 
route these guys and then you can run around the flank. Yeah, they are starting to outflank me now with a fresh unit of Jud Spearman or Jund Spearman. Sorry if I butchered that pronunciation. I think these Spearmen are going to have to go defend against them. This is such a close battle, though. It's been going on for 40 minutes as well, this engagement. Truly, truly epic engagement. I think we pretty much cleared out. There might be one or two units here. So, yeah, let's take this unit of Spearmen here. The fresh unit of Spearmen, which isn't so fresh. You guys charge the Spearmen turn and get ready to defend against this unit. If they can make it through the amount of dead bodies laying on the ground here. So, they charge onto the rest of them. How are we doing over here? Still holding firm. If we can outflank this, then maybe we can claim victory. Still sp beyond close battle, though. Come on, Spears. Form up. I need you guys to form up here. I need them to form a shield wall, if I'm honest. Nice. Routed them. Good, good, good. Now we need to turn. I still got ammunition there. So you guys shoot them. The rest of the infantry are besides the crossbowmen and come back here. They are happy as well, which is not good for me. We'll let my crossbowmen get as many kills as possible. Oh, God, they've broken through here. I don't think I'm going to do it, guys. I don't think I have enough. Shield will hold the, hold the charge. We need you guys here to volley in the side. If you guys can get around the flank, that would be beyond them. They're not going to be able to, damn. We're going to have to commit them. I mean, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and wrap this unit quickly and then get round, but they're not going to hold, are they? Oh, this was such a close and awesome battle. This is exactly how I wanted it to play out as well. Let's send a unit of infantry back. Yeah, we have to send this unit of infantry back. It's kind of strength, but not really. They're down to 1,000 men as well, but we're down to 300. The last stand of the 300 Templars and Hospitaller Knights. Maybe if we can route these guys. They're even sending in some more Gulan foot archers. And the Gulan foot archers are just really good. Really, really good. So, Yeah, you're going to have to charge in and try your best to do some damage to them. Luckily, they are exhausted. And at least them crossbowmen are fresh. So kind of that got that going for us. But I just these guys have got 404 kills. Arrow 404. We have not won. Crusading intensifies. What an epic battle. The last stand. We'll watch these guys as they try. I mean, I might try and get them a bit of rest whilst the crossbowmen hold off. We'll try and get these guys up to, you know, be a little bit more. But I guess, I guess if these guys route, then everyone will route, so they might as well. <gasps> the AI is even outflanking me here. We're going to have to charge these guys, aren't we? We're going to have to. Let's get on board with these guys and watch their final charge. The final stand as they're exhausted. Look at them. They're probably beyond exhausted because of the heat, the armor, the heavy battle that's ensued. As they jump over the, the shrubbery, through the tree, and charge in. There was just too many enemy forces. Jerusalem has been lost. But maybe we can call another crusade on it. And try and reclaim it. Yeah, maybe that's what we can do next. Maybe we'll give uh, the AI a huge army to defend with. And we'll try and reclaim it with a crusading army. If you guys want to see that, and you've watched to this point, let me know in the comments down below. You know, shout out to you guys who have stuck around and watched this battle to its bitter end. Because it's truly been an epic one. And I recommend that, you know, you advise people in the comments maybe to stick around to the end. Because, you know, I know a lot of people do just kind of, you know, flip through videos and stuff. That's what I do quite a lot. It's completely understandable. But, you know, you don't want to miss something as epic as this. But yeah, if you want to see me do like a battle where the AI is defending with a huge army and I'm trying to reclaim it maybe with the Templars or maybe I can even get Apollo to support me and I can be the Hospitaller Knights and he can be the Templars, I think that'd be cool as hell. So let me know if you guys want to see that in the comments for sure. Yeah, the crossbowmen have routed now. Oh, this was, a, this was an epic battle for sure. I thank you guys for sticking around and watching it. What are these? Are these a catapult crew? So I guess we'll watch the last stand of these spearmen. These guys up to 411 kills now. I mean, I think they're going to clean up this unit, but there's no way they can come back and defend this. Especially as we're about to get enveloped here.
Come on, boys. Push on. One last push. Yeah, they're, they're even sending member like, we don't really need to support this unit, so they're going to go try and capture the control point and then also surround me over here. They are, you know, kind of close to routing, but I don't think we're going to be able to do it because, yeah, there you go. The majority of my men are going to go. What an epic battle. It pretty much almost lasted as well. The time almost ran out. How crazy is that for an Attila battle to get this, like, deep into it? That is insane. Well, this has been a 45-minute battle. The crossbowmen of the last unit will go on board with them for one last stand. Look at the death and destruction. The amount of dead bodies in the streets are disgusting. Let's do that before the battle ends. Because before these guys route. Because when they route, they will come up and win it. I'll see. The famous stand. The dicks out for the men at the barriers. So strong. The crusading knights over here held for as long as possible, killing quite a few of the general units. The trail of these dismounted Hospitaller Knights as they got shot to pieces. What a story this battle has been. What an absolute... I feel like I've been, in, been on an adventure right now. The gates which were lost, the walls which were lost, this like famous stand right here at the walls. I feel like I've had the story being told to me in this battle. And hopefully you guys felt the same. So what an epic battle. Let's end the battle and see like the kills and stuff. Jesus Christ. Look how many kills, literally. It's kind of, it kind of works here. Look how many kills these crossbowmen got. I think this is the most kills I've ever seen an archer unit get. 925. And that was a unit that fought to the end as well. That wasn't... Yeah, this unit died and then this unit fought to the end. This is the unit that routed. Right at the end, my last holding unit. And they got, got 1,000 kills. That is crazy. Beyond crazy. My dismounted Hospitaller Knights, 411. Each of them getting 200. Uh, my Crusading Knights, or my, my Sergeant Templars, sorry, I was calling these guys Crusading Knights, didn't do too great. Uh, all my Hospitaller Knights did amazing, apart from maybe a couple units, but everyone else did good. Uh, and then these Templars, you know, they have the hard task of fighting fresh troops and being overwhelmed, so I don't really blame them for not getting too many kills. And my Archers more of were just kind of a, a placement unit as they got hit by Archer uh, Catapults. Even the King of Jerusalem doing good before he lost his life. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that epic, epic battle. Uh, make sure to drop a like, make sure to drop a comment. Let me know if you want to see that, that, that battle what I was talking about when me and Apollo maybe try and reclaim the city. Also, let me know if you want to see more battles like this uh, in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time. And fish out.